Hello everybody, welcome to Being Civil. In the previous video, we have discussed member specification in STAT. In this video, we are going to know the access system of STAT Pro. It is very much important to apply loads to your structure. Basically, there are two types of access system in STAT Pro. One is a global access system, which is denoted by G, GX, GY, GZ. And there is a local access system, which is denoted by only X, Y, and Z. Now, when you open STAT, in the whole structure window at the bottom left corner, you see the the axis it is the global axis system to see the axis system in a better view click on the isometric view you see the global axis system uh, to show your axis at the origin position of your structures just press shift i the global axis system will appear at the origin of your structure that is a zero zero point instead the X, Y and Z axis are denoted by blue, red and green color respectively. Now coming to the local access system. Local access system are for individual members. You see in my structure there are four elements and the local axis of all the four elements are different. To see the local access system of the, all the members just press shift O. O just nothing but the orientation. You can also turn it on from these symbols and levels window. You see this show axis the origin I for the global axis and this beam orientation here O shift O for the beam orientation it shows the local axis. Now you see this is the X axis from the start node to the end node and it is the Y axis and this one is the Z axis. This is an I beam. Now you see for, this is also an I beam here the start node and it is the end node you see the X axis is from this one to this one for this X axis is like this. So the local axis of all the elements are different but the global axis for the whole structure is constant. Now I want to see this local axis of this single angle member. You see this is single angle this one is a z axis and this one is the y axis and for from the front view you can see this one is the x axis why it is so much important in applying loads created a load case which is uni gy minus one ton per meter and i am applying loads here you see the loads is minus one so it is along the minus y axis downwards but when you want to apply a wind load which is always perpendicular to this you see this red axis is nothing but the local y axis so if you change this axis system from gy to y which is local change you see the load now perpendicular to this member but for for this member for this member you see this global y axis and local y axis is same so for applying loads in the inclined members we use this local axis hope you like this video in the next video we'll discuss different type of loadings how to apply it on the members so stay tuned for the next video